So I created a measure here called highlighter, and there is some DAX here, but I'm going to walk you through that step by step. So we are going to open up a new notebook and start from scratch. So here's a new notebook, and let me just open up a table so we can see our data. We have some data here where we're looking at design concepts, and these are being summed float there. So what I'm going to do first is just to make this easy, I'm going to sum this value. So I'm going to right click over and go over to a new measure. Once I have that new measure, I'm just going to call this our total, total concerns, just so we have a sum and we don't have to write it over and over again. So let's say sum of, and then when you can see concerns per 100,000 for our survey data. And now we have total concerns. And if I bring that in, you can see the numbers are the same. So I'm going to keep that there for us to just use as a reference. And now we need to create a highlighting measure. So I'm going to go back over, create a new measure. And now I'm going to call this highlight. And I'm going to open this up by clicking on the down carrot. And then I'm going to press Alt and Enter so I can get a new level. And then I am going to create a variable. So we create a variable by calling it VAR. And now I want to highlight the minimum. So I'm going to call this our um, minimum, let's say min highlight. And then that's going to equal. And what we want to do is now start to write our code. So now I'm going to press Alt and Enter again. Then I'm going to hit Tab so we can have this pretty nicely formatted. So I'm going to use the minimum just to show you what happens if I use that. So if I say use the minimum, and what do I want the minimum of? I want the minimum of that column. So if we want the column, which is concerns per 100,000, so I do concerns per 100,000, that's going to pop up. That is going to give us the minimum there. And now that we have the minimum, we can use that for return. Tab back, and I'm going to say return. And what I want to return is that minimum highlight. And let's bring this in just to show you what we get. Because what we want to be able to do is get the minimum for each one of these rows to evaluate it. So if I just bring in highlight now, you can see that number doesn't change. And the reason it doesn't change is because we're not evaluating it on each row. And the way we do that is we are going to go over back over to our measure. And now we want to make sure that we use a different function. And let's use min x. And so if you bring in the min x, you see that we're missing some information there. So I'm going to just get rid of this because I want you to see what the min x does. So min x, it says it returns the smallest numeric value or smallest string that results from evaluating an expression at each row. So we know this is a function we want. So now what we can do, we bring in the table that we're looking for, and our table is called design con concerns. That is our table. And then we can bring in the expression total concerns. There's no change to our table. And the reason why we need another function to make this evaluate over this whole table. And the way we're going to do that is with adding all. And what we're going to do is encapsulate this design table with all. And now I'm going to just hit this check mark. And there you go. We get one value being evaluated at each row. So the minimum is being populated each row. Now all we need to do is we need to get the maximum. So we can copy this 
and then we just copy and paste that. So we just paste that in. Now we need to change this to max. We still have what we need here. We can return max x, that maximum being highlighted there. Now we need to bring in some conditional logic to say how this is working. So we can take that same function. And instead of returning the max highlight, we want to build in some conditionals. And we're going to do that with a switch function. So once we have our switch function, we can evaluate what's going on here. So we don't want this to return. Actually, we need to build another variable, var, for our variable. Let's call it color underscore change equals. And then we're going to alt and enter, tab. And we're going to use a switch function. So switch. And if you highlight over that switch, you can see switch takes in an expression and provides a value. And this returns different results depending on the value of the expression. Now we can evaluate everything over that specific row. And I want to say alt and enter again. So if true, now we alt and enter. And we say if that total concern on that row equals our minimum highlight, then let's bring in red, and then now alt and enter again if that total concern equals max highlight. Let's bring in, let's say, dark blue. And else, because we need an else condition, let's say light gray. Now, and then what, what we want to return, we want to return our color change. And we have, make sure this is closed off. And now everything looks like the right color. No red, no errors. We should be good. So we have a little error here. This is supposed to be a comma instead of a thing. So let's just click into that. And now we should be good to go. Now you can see we have our different colors there. Now what we can do is we can go over and we can click into our ribbon here for format visual. We want to go to cell elements. Let's pick our background color. And then now we're going to go to field value and we will now be able to click into the field value that we want and we're going to use highlight and now you can see we can highlight this or we can go back over and we can highlight the actual field that we're interested in so for example we can go for our sum is probably a bit better go to field value we click over field value down design and then we kick uh, calculate and measure hit okay and now you can see you have both of those highlighted we can easily just go over to the first one and turn this off and now you just have that highlighted we can definitely turn this in to copy and paste let's remove this And let's turn this into a bar chart. And from the bar chart here, we can click over. We go to columns. And then you can see your color highlighted there. Click into it. Go to field value. Go to your calculated measure. Hit OK. And now you can see that it's highlighted. And if we sort this, Let's say we sort this table, so we click into the spots and we sort design concerns. You can see how this can be a very useful visual for you to deal with. Now, we can definitely change our highlighter to be something else. So I am going to copy and duplicate this. So you go to that measure. And then I'm going to click over and do a new measure. And now I'm going to modify this. So let's say highlight average. So it's a little bit of an easier one. 
we can say, okay, if average X we don't need, we want to call this our average highlight, and then let's get rid of all of this because we only need one value, right? So then we want to say if the total concerns is greater than the average highlights, then let's call, let's make that gray and let's make this if it's less than our average highlights to red and we want to return the color change and now we have this so now you can see we can bring in that average into our table and then you can see what colors are different now we can just copy and paste this table table here we go to the visuals we know that we're in columns we click into the highlight and we know we want our second highlight average hit okay and now you can see that you have those colors changed and highlighted in the manner that you want i hope that helps